everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Zero Time Dilemma. And in this episode, uh, we're actually going to go play a different team for once, because we've maxed out all the episodes for D-Team. Uh, oh wait, no, we're going to try the other option for this one, where we don't press the button. Okay, so after we do this, then we'll go to another one. Not pushing the button this time. Now, luckily, it's one minute or ten seconds instead of three minutes. Nani mo okoran ga? Ah, hora ne, takara itta desho. branch to go to? Oh, no, that's it. Alright, let's go... Let's go C team, because they got re returning characters. Uh, which one looks nice? Uh, well, we gotta find out what happened to the June papers. Well, but let's go this way.
んだと6人さっきんじゃねえぞてめえ解毒剤はその部屋のどこかにある探したまえ検討を祈る毒が俺たちの体に今のところ異常はありませんが今の話が嘘だとはとにかくその解毒剤とやらを探そう何のために今日まで生きてきたのかやるべきことをやらないで死ぬわけよそうだな3人で協力して切り開こう生き残るための道を Alright, so before we begin, I just have to say that I love Akane's voice actor and also Sigma's voice actor. Uh, Akane's voice actor, I'm pretty sure, but I might be wrong, is the same voice actor from. or the same voice actor as Kelty from DRR, who is awesome, by the way. And also the super aggressive girl in、uh, Gekin Shoujo. And also a bunch of other ones that I can't recall at the moment. And Sigma's voice actor is actually Battler from Umi Nico. Uh, So, anyway, let's solve this puzzle. There's only one needle, though. We're gonna need three. Or, unless we can sterilize this. I guess if everyone has the same. No. Well, I was gonna say blood type.
Thanks for watching, please comment, like, and subscribe, and tell me how I caught it.